Cameroon rappers uh, have an, an interesting um, sort of history in the lexicon of cigars. Still, to this day, it's, it's, it's probably one of the most sought after rappers, certainly the most expensive commercially available rappers. And thankfully, we were one of the companies that were really at the forefront of making sure that, that the production of this rapper was kept, kept alive in conjunction with the Mirafield family. And it's very important because you just can't recreate the profile and the characteristics you get from the Cameroon rapper uh, grown on the continent of Africa. There have been other uh, versions of it that, uh, that has been sort of transported and grown in uh, uh, Ecuador and other countries, but nothing truly, truly, truly uh, recreates the specific profile you get from Cameroon grown in its, uh, in its sort of natural habitat, which that's sort of a misnomer because the actual Cameroon wrapper uh, was developed from seeds from Sumatra, Indonesia. So it's just a very, very um, uh, you know, particular and unique style uh, of wrapper that can't be reproduced anywhere else. Uh, and what you get from it that's so distinct is this is very, very distinct and subtle spice. Uh, you get a very, very distinct and pronounced richness from it. And it's, it's a very, very temperamental wrapper. It's a wrapper that's hard to work with. Um, you lose a good bit of it in the production of the cigars. Um, one of the things you know, that, that sort of weighs into why it's so expensive from a production standpoint. But very unique profile, beautiful, beautiful wrapper.